And the next session is from Toaom Nua Modules Training. Okay, hello. Um, I am user Tohom, uh, active uh, mostly in Ukrainian Wikipedia, Wikidata, and Wikimedia Commons. Uh, also, occasionally make edits to English Wikipedia. Uh, in uh, real life, I am a game developer, and uh, I develop uh, games in, uh, you guessed it, in Lua. And I also write modules in Lua for uh, Wikipedia. Uh, so, what are modules and uh, how are they used? Uh, Wikipedia uses a lot of templates, which are uh, either a standardized uh, form of representing information or uh, some black box function where you give it some input and uh, it gives uh, some uh, output or uh, uh, it may be some... Uh, often repeated uh, text or uh, anything else. There are two approaches to creating templates in uh, Wikipedia. These are parser language and uh, uh, Lua modules. Uh, parser language is a classical way of creating templates and uh, it has uh, parser functions uh, uh, which uh, uh, allow the ba to use basic logical fu functions and um, basic uh, um, Wikidata uh, queries and uh, so on. You uh, probably have uh, saw them. They have a lot of curly brackets. I would say way too many curly brackets. For example, uh, can you tell me from the first glance what is written here? What does this code mean? Well, maybe you can't. Maybe you can uh, do it after reading it, but uh, still you uh, need some time to uh, understand uh, what is written here and uh, here comes the first problem with uh, parser language that it's non, not human readable. Uh, if your template uh, consists of several lines, that uh, will not be a big problem. But if it is as big as here with several hundred uh, lines, it will be a problem and uh, changing something here or just fixing something here becomes a big uh, challenge. If you drop just one curly bracket or if you put one extra curly bracket, it will uh, break completely and you will not even know where exactly did it break, where exactly did you miss a curly bracket or uh, put an extra curly bracket, uh, it will not point to exact uh, line where you uh, did it, and uh, that renders uh, them uh, almost uh, impossible to edit or add new features uh, if uh, uh, templates are written in a parser language and uh, are uh, bigger than uh, several dozens of uh, lines. Uh, also, uh, Parser language is uh, limited in its uh, possibilities. It uh, provides only uh, the most uh, basic uh, control structures, uh, if, if exist, uh, and uh, uh, so on. And uh, it allows only the most basic uh, call to Wikidata, uh, which is get the only the first value of uh, some property. You can't get uh, labels, descriptions, the second value of uh, property. You can't get uh, qualifiers, site links, uh, and so on. But with Lua, you can do this. Uh, Lua is a full-scale uh, programming uh, language which has uh, uh, such things as uh, control structures, functions, variables, arrays, and everything that uh, a decent uh, programming language should uh, have. Of course, it has some uh, uh, 
uh, things that uh, are not uh, like uh, in other languages. For example, arrays in Lua are numbered from one, not starting from zero, like in uh, other programming uh, languages. Uh, also, everything is Lua is a table, absolutely everything. Uh, global var variables are just values in a global table, uh, as well as functions and so on. Uh, Lua has many similarities uh, uh, in, with uh, JavaScript in uh, the way it functions and many similarities with Python in uh, syntax. Uh, however, uh, Lua has a uh, disadvantage that it has a uh, uh, higher entrance uh, point to it than uh, parser language. Uh, parser language uh, could uh, even be used by non-programming uh, contributors uh, because it is uh, much easier and uh, if uh, some template is written uh, in Lua, and uh, there is some mistake. Uh, editors who are not programmers, who d uh, don't have technical background, they tend to uh, turn a blind eye on uh, problems with the modules because uh, it is uh, uh, some high-tech uh, dark magic and uh, they don't want to get involved in it uh, because it's uh, hard. Or otherwise, uh, uh, they will uh, not do it them themselves and uh, ask for help from uh, some editor who is fluent uh, in this. And uh, uh, if you are the only or uh, one of the few uh, editors uh, in some project who can uh, edit Lua modules, you will have a range of questions and uh, suggestions uh, and reports of bugs uh, uh, pouring on uh, you uh, concerning uh, Lua modules. Uh, also, Lua modules allow you to access uh, Wikidata, uh, and you can uh, get any part of Wikidata item with uh, uh, Wikidata items behind the scenes uh, are uh, JSONs, which are tables inside of tables inside of uh, tables again. Uh, and so on. For example, let's take uh, this uh, item in uh, Wikidata, which is uh, about Wikimedia Hackathon uh, 2019. This is how it looks on the front end for uh, simple users who uh, go to Wikidata to see it. But uh, how it looks like uh, behind the scene. What is actually the code of this page? Uh, so this is the source code of uh, this uh, item. It has a master table with uh, Keys type, ID, labels, uh, descriptions, aliases, and claims and uh, site links somewhere in the end. Here are tables, and inside of them are other tables and other uh, tables. And uh, with Lua, you can get this value, but you can do it uh, with uh, a parser uh, language.
And also in Lua, you can uh, iterate over those uh, values which you cannot do uh, in parser language. Uh, is everything clear for this moment? Uh, are there any questions? Uh, after I answer th the questions, I will uh, continue. There is no questions yet. Uh, okay, then I will uh, go next. Yep. So, how it works? Uh, let's start uh, from uh, my demonstration from test wiki. Uh, imagine we have a page, an article where we want to use uh, a template uh, based on UO module. In uh, this uh, page, we just uh, call a template. And uh, the call of the template uh, will be irrespective of whether it's written in classical parser language or in uh, Lua. And uh, let's pass uh, into this uh, template a string hello world. Save. Next. We have a page template. This is the template that we actually call from uh, this uh, page. It will uh, it will uh, then call a module which is done with uh, pseudo template uh, invoke. You write a sharp symbol in a double curly brackets. You write a sharp symbol, invoke a colon, and name of your module. Then a vertical pipeline and the name of the function which you want to call from. Uh, Lua. Usually uh, it is main if uh, it is a module for one purpose, uh, for one uh, info box or nav box, it is usually uh, called uh, main, but uh, it can be other things. For example, if you write in a module that is a sort of library of functions, then you uh, just uh, call whatever uh, function you want. And now to the module itself, which starts with the uh, prefix module colon, semicolon, or colon, yes, um, which is a separate namespace. Okay, let's create it. Um, so, since Lua is uh, object-oriented uh, language, there should be uh, there should be an object. Let's create it. In Lua, everything is uh, a table, including objects. Objects in Lua are also tables. These curly brackets in Lua means that we create uh, a, table, a table which can be an array if there are only numeric keys or it uh, can be a hash array if uh, there are non-numeric uh, uh, keys. So we created here an object uh, which is also a table. Uh, we attach uh, 
the function to uh, this object we create a function main to which we uh, pass the frame uh, that is uh, what the, some sort of uh, what we called in uh, uh, our article in this uh, in this object there will be uh, arguments to Arguments passed uh, to template and uh, from template here to the module. And uh, we will return this object. Uh, now let's do something meaningful in uh, here. First of all, let's uh, get. Uh, Parameters which were passed from article to template and from template to here to module. This is frame get parent arcs, and we need the first value. Remember that lower numbers arrays from one. So here in variable. STR, we will uh, have this string. And mm, now what will we return? Let's um, reverse the string. Uh, so put the last character at the place of first and first in the place of uh, the last and uh, so on. And we will return uh, this string. Can you please increase the font size or zoom a little bit more? If, if it helps. Okay. Yeah. Now okay. let's uh, refresh this page. And yes, it uh, reversed uh, the text that we passed uh, uh, there. Here in uh, this uh, return value, uh, there can be uh, any kind of uh, wiki markup. Uh, but if it if it is not a simple text, you should uh, uh, pre-process it uh, so that uh, it is treated uh, as uh, a wiki markup. For example, imagine that uh, we uh, put our answer uh, into the table. Uh, so table is not visible, so I would better add class wiki table. So something is wrong. Okay, another way. Let it be in this way. Hmm. Okay, I don't know why it doesn't work. So, um, 
Imagine in this REST value you have uh, not just a text but some wiki markup which can be tables, uh, function uh, calls, some uh, wiki markup like uh, italics or bold uh, text uh, or uh, references or anything else. Without uh, this it will return them as text and uh, uh, references, tables, and uh, uh, other things will not be treated as such. Uh, without preprocess, uh, uh, this will not be a table. It will uh, literally uh, write uh, Opening curly bracket, uh, pipeline, uh, uh, line break, another pipeline, uh, pipeline, closing uh, curly bracket, and not a table if we write it without frame preprocess. But with frame preprocess, it will be uh, treated uh, correctly. Uh, also, uh, uh, this uh, editing interface needs some uh, explanation. So here is uh, all as usual. Go. Okay. Uh, so I was telling about function uh, frame preprocess, which turns text into uh, which turn text is with uh, wiki markup. Uh, we into some visual elements. If we don't use frame preprocess, uh, the text will not be treated as wiki markup, and it will literally write uh, open curly bracket, uh, vertical pipeline, uh, blah, 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 vertical pipeline, closing curly bracket, but with this function, it will be treated as wiki table, and the table will be uh, depicted. Next thing. Uh, I have to explain to you some, uh, in some words, about editing interface. Uh, here uh, you have a window of uh, text editing, much like uh, in, uh, usually in uh, articles. However, there are different uh, buttons and also there is uh, uh, line numbering. This uh, button is used to indent or uh, outdent. Uh, uh, here is a summary and uh, publishing show changes button uh, like in usual um, article uh, editing uh, window. Uh, here is a preview page with this template. Uh, this uh, thing allows you to view the page, how it will look like if you apply the changes uh, uh, here. Like uh, show preview, and it just shows us this. This, uh, this was supposed to be a table, but something went wrong. Uh, well, oh, yeah, I forgot this. Right. Uh, let's apply some changes here and preview um, uh, how the page will look like if we save the, uh, these changes. Here. Uh, we wrote uh, the name of a uh, page we want uh, to preview and we clicked uh, show preview and now we see uh, how this page would look like with uh, those edits that were made. Also we have here a console which is kind of a sandbox when, uh, where you can uh, test uh, things. Uh, 
uh, Lua modules and uh, Lua uh, programming language allows you uh, to do some complicated logics, uh, some complicated math. It has uh, control structures like uh, uh, if, uh, else, if, else. Uh, it has four uh, control structure. It has while. Uh, but uh, that's not the only plus uh, it has. Uh, it also can uh, work with uh, Wikidata items, which uh, are stored in form of uh, uh, JSON and uh, let's uh, see how it works. Is there here? Yeah. While I did not forget, uh, uh, here is uh, documentation uh, of Lua, how it is used uh, in uh, Wikimedia uh, projects. Uh, here is a short uh, description of the uh, language in itself. And uh, then there are functions that were uh, added uh, here in the Media Wiki for uh, uh, the language to be more uh, convenient to work with uh, uh, Wikipedia articles and uh, items and uh, so on. I will give a link to it. Also, there is a sub-library which allows you uh, to work with uh, titles, get labels, get uh, 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 ID numbers, for example, this function, uh, if it is given uh, a QID, uh, gives you uh, the page itself. Uh, this function does the same, but for current page, for page from which uh, the module is called. This does it for uh, title. You give a title of a page, it gives you corresponding uh, Wikidata item and so on. It is also very useful. And here is uh, the documentation of the Lua uh, programming language uh, itself. Uh, you can access uh, uh, the source code of uh, uh, Wikidata items through IP, like uh, API, uh, like uh, here, which will give you the content of the page, or uh, in uh, console. Uh, let's uh, access uh, this item in the console to see uh, it's uh, JSON. Um. Mm -hmm. Well, um, something doesn't work here, uh, but uh, this function. Uh, gets uh, the item itself, and uh, this is a console function that will uh, write its content. So if it is applied right, you will see JSON uh, with tables inside of tables inside of tables, and uh, uh, so on. 
and uh, let's see uh, how to access those uh, queries. First, we get the item itself. Oh, not here. It should be, it should be here. And here we should have. So let's get um, organizer P six six four. We get uh, the item. Uh, we get sub table claims. And uh, it's value for P664. Then uh, let's get a list of organizers. And iterate over this uh, list. So we get uh, the table for this uh, uh, property 664. Um, here it is. We need uh, the first value, then uh, main snack. It is actually a first value, then main snack, then data value, value which is inside the data value, and ID. ID number of organizer. Let's now get item for uh, this ID to get uh, its title. And add it here to this table. Here we will add labels, uh, English, and value. And now let's uh, concatenate this table. and save it in the very same uh, variable and uh, return it. Mm -hmm. 
or just like this publish and if I wrote everything right here should be a list um, Mm -hmm. Yes, I forgot module sandbox. Or not? Well, when it comes to action, everything goes wrong as always. Uh, it says I have an error here, they both multiple. Oh, uh, you see now we got these two values from this item and successfully added them to a page uh, uh, with a template. So we used our template uh, to add something uh, in Wikidata, which is uh, somewhere deep in this Wikidata item. And unlike parser language, we added not to one value, but two values. Uh, so, questions? Okay, thanks a lot for the session. Okay, goodbye.